When you think of shooting a movie set in the Great Depression, you think of big Hollywood studio films, you think of big cameras and crews of hundreds and hundreds of people. Every single shot in this film is shot with the Inspire 2, and that affords us new ways to tell stories visually, really sort of rewriting and discovering new camera language. One of the things that sort of jumps out initially about this Inspire 2 is the 5K capability. Uh, I mean, be able to have a 5K image raw and what you can do with that in post-production and the way you can use it to your advantage, um, I think is really exciting. With the Inspire 2, actually, you get to have the capabilities of a cinema camera in uh, the form factor of a drone. And that's the reason why we want to showcase that it's actually capable of being used for the whole short film. One of the great features of the new camera of the X5S is that we can shoot at resolutions up to 5.2K. So that gives us a lot of room for 4K output. While you're recording ProRes or RAW files on the SSD, uh, you're actually able to save the proxy files on the SD card. They can have a different resolution than the actual files. So you can shoot in 5.2K on the SSD and you can shoot a 1080p proxy file, which makes previewing way more easier. Another cool aspect is that we now support more lenses with the X5S, such as the Olympus 9-18mm zoom lens. The image is a lot more clear for me to judge focus, and that was kind of a critical thing for me to be able to kind of do this spot. I really need to be able to see depth of field and know, and to have my focus puller with me and know that I can get that shot. Otherwise, I wouldn't feel comfortable. What's fantastic about this drone is that we're able to shoot in the raw format. It's just nice to have that dynamic range because sometimes I'm able to push shadows up or push highlights down or just kind of create a, a mood. So it's, it's, I mean, I always like shooting in the raw. I get as much as you can and then I can always you can deal with it later. We did a shot yesterday where we just kind of ran through this house and went through doors and went through the other side and then you know went through another door and then came into the bedroom and that worked flawlessly. You know, it was a pretty good combination between me working with the operator and me operating the, the head separately and we were able to work together in unison to kind of get that shot. I thought that worked great. And you can go both ways with it. You can go you know, focus puller operator to, to basically single operator as well too. We're doing everything that you normally do with the stationary camera with the drone. And having these smart features along with the ability to remotely operate the gimbal has really freed us in a lot of ways, allowing us to get complicated shots, shots that would have taken huge, expensive setups done affordably, fast, and efficiently.